Hi guys, and thanks so much for clicking on this video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a duct tape iPod case. And this is mine. It's Velcro on the inside. It's purple and red. You can't really see it. And the flap is blue. And the main color is blue, um, cheetah leopard, whatever, and zebra straps. So what you're going to be needing today in order to make this is obviously your iPod, a cutting grid, some velcro, and duct tape. And this is an order, so the colors and patterns that my friend wanted are camel flat, um, sorry, camo, and orange. And you are also going to be needing some clear tape. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously get your iPod and the inside color that she wants is orange. So you're going to take a piece of duct tape that is six inches long of the orange. Okay. And now you're going to be taking the piece of tape and your iPod. And you're going to be putting it sticky side up because it's going to be the inside color. And starting from whichever end you want. And just folding it. So it's like this. And fold it on top of each other and you want to make it a little loose so it's easy to come out like this okay and you're just gonna make another one of those six inches long and this time do it at the bottom of the iPod it actually doesn't matter which end you start at or if you um, do like if you wrap it around twice at the top or twice at the bottom, I just like to do it at the top or the bottom in case like it's um, bigger at one end or something like that. <laughs> and then the main color is going to be camouflage. So you're going to be taking your camouflage duct tape and cutting out a six inch long strip of that also. Okay, now you're going to be taking the um, the pieces we just made, and you're going to be slipping it down on one end, taking the camouflage duct tape, and putting that over the sticky tape, and make sure that there is absolutely no sticky on either side when you're placing it down. So just like that. And then just fold the pieces over gently. And there's one. Easy to go on and off. And just do the other one. Okay, and now you're going to put both, hold on, I'm going to trim this a little bit because there's a little sticky showing and if you have that problem, just take your X-Acto knife and just run it across the sticky like that so you don't see it anymore.
Okay. And now slide them on to the iPod. And now, um, you're going to put that to the side for now. And for the straps to hold the iPod in at the bottom, you're going to take a piece of 4 inch long duct tape of your main color. I already did that, so I'm just going to put it there. And then you're going to be taking um, some, it doesn't matter if you have orange or camouflaged um, duct tape, but I think I'm going to use orange so it matches the inside of the case. You're going to cut that at three inches long. Okay, then you're going to take the camouflage or the one that is four inches long, flip that over sticky side up, and take the piece that is three inches long and put it in the middle of the sticky side up strip of tape. Then you're going to take the bottom of your iPod in your case and you're going to place it as evenly as you can get it and make sure it's not too much to the left and not too much to the right and you're going to fold that over to the other side and go just like that. Okay, so now there's your bottom so the iPod does not fall out and now we have to do the strap to open and close this so um, you're going to take camouflaged or any other color you want and cut that at Three and a half inches. One, two, three. Okay, so you're going to take that, turn it sticky side up, and get a piece of tape that is three inches long, and place the tape not in the middle, but so there's a centimeter left on one end and the rest of the sticky at the other. Place that down. Take your iPod. Put it halfway down in the one in the um one I don't know what it's called. One pocket that we made or something like that. And you're just going to take the sticky, the one centimeter. Um and you're going to bend that over like that so you have a kind of a trim when you open it and there's your strap but you're not gonna do anything yet you're not gonna put the velcro on but now we're going to take a piece of camouflage duct tape and cut that six inches long and I'll show you what you're gonna do with that Cut it just like that. Take it, take your iPod in the case, and you're going to put that in the middle, and this way it'll cover up the seam and the gap that you can see from the other pockets we made, and then it'll cover up these so they don't lift up. And I make sure that all the um, connecting strips of tape, like the lines that you can see when you connected it, are just at the back of the case so it looks a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's barking. Okay, so now it should like look like this. No lines or anything. And now you're going to take a piece of clear tape 
and cut that at three inches long. And you're just going to um, flip the case upside down. You're gonna take the clear tape and you're just gonna go over the pieces that we just attached so they don't lift up while you're using the case. I'm just gonna fold that down nicely so there's no bubbles. And now you're going to take um, some circle Velcro and put one of the Velcro strips in the middle of your strap that's going to come down to hold the iPod in. You're gonna take the other one and place that on top of that. You're gonna push the strap down and wiggle it and move it so it's like the sticky gets off on the other side of the tape. And there's your Velcro. So you, as you can see, it's very nice, very clean. It's all camouflaged. So she might have a hard time finding it if she loses it, but oh well. And then lift up the strap and the iPod smooths in and out um, very nicely. The inside is orange. I don't know if you can see that very well. And the bottom strap that's all the way down there is orange as well. And so is this strap. And yeah, it's very nice. So if you would like me to make one, uh, make you one of these, they are only $2. And you can email me through YouTube or my email address down in the description below. And also you can find me on Instagram at Claudia's DT Crafts. And um, I make a bunch of other stuff. Not all the prices will be listed below. But if you would like them, you can email me. And thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. And happy duct taping.